Hello, Sagittarius. What's the vibe? How are you feeling? This is your message, your reading. We're asking Spirit that anything that you need to hear right now, any messages that you need to receive, confirmation, clarity, guidance, reach you at this moment in time. Right now. I'm really getting a strong sense for, for you, Sagittarius babies, of um, I want to say advocate, but it doesn't feel very aggressive. It doesn't feel very, sometimes when I think of the word advocate, I think of someone who is going out and raging or or fighting for or defending and in your case it's advocacy but it's a little bit more quiet I feel like Sagittarius there's something yes there's something that you are watching something that you sense something that just doesn't feel right something feels off and for right now, I feel like you were guided to give it a soft but very firm no. And with that, you are advocating for yourself. You're protecting your energy. You're protecting your boundaries. You're protecting your peace. You create a barrier or blockage to bullshit. And that's what spirit wants from you right now. Three of Wands. I definitely am getting a vibe that you're watching something. This could be two cups has been shown up a lot for... A lot of people a lot of the signs um two of cups in the lover's card look five of wands two of cups and the four of wands here something is definitely coming into union and alignment for a lot of these zodiac signs the majority of them actually yep temperance card it's working itself out and this is going to be there to cement and secure your place in this world and what does that mean my loves that means like it's your place, the space and the place that you belong, the place where it's an energetic match for you. It's a vibe, it's chemistry, it's a connection, it's beautiful, that's what we all want. And it's not just a physical place. It could be a place in someone's heart, a place in someone's mind, a, place, a position within your career or your purpose, or you know, being at the right spot at the right time. It goes in all the, in all the ways, my loves. And that is what's being worked out here, but you can't be positioned in the right place if you're saying yes to things that are not a match for you because when you're saying yes to that you're ultimately saying no to something else and if the vibe is off it's not a match and trust trust your own uh trust your i just heard trust your own adventure like meaning that as a emperor type of energy whether you're masculine feminine however you identify your sex it's all about energy here i was getting uh emperor vibes here for you guys and basically what this is showing me is that you have to kind of you know advocate for yourself but not in a way that is so loud and assertive and dominant and aggressive it's more again that quiet no so when you are saying no to that you are ultimately saying yes to a new adventure and yes to being rerouted and going on this new stage this new place that's ultimately really exciting and isn't that what you want sagittarius it's i know that you love and crave adventure and excitement and you know new experiences and friends and connections and all those things are good and all those things are yours but I also don't feel like it's not for nothing you know what I mean like there's a reason and a purpose for why you would say yes to something and maybe you just want a little excitement maybe you're trying to learn maybe you're trying to grow maybe you're trying to explore or whatever the case is and honestly i can't get you away from this three of wands card here there's something that you know is on the horizon but i don't or your sense is on the horizon and if that's truly the case we don't want to block you away from that we want to open the door for that Mm-hmm. Something that you are once committed to, you're going to want to drop the ball on that a little bit. That's okay. Someone might say that you're flaky. They don't understand. So, King of Pentacles here is reversed. Ace of Pentacles here is reversed. And Ace of Wands upright. You have to break off a commitment, an engagement, a, a connection, a, um, an investment in order to make space and 
make way for whatever this ace of wands is that showed up in your life and they can call you flaky all they want but you're following your vibes and something about this commitment this contractual agreement it could be a lease it could be a business contract it could be something that you've signed sealed and delivered probably maybe during mercury retrograde if you're watching this at the time that i'm uploading or during a retrograde cycle it almost feels like you kind of have to get yourself up on out of that yeah you might have to fight for a, li a little bit but you're sensing and you're knowing that it might be blocking your fortune if that's a vibe that you feel for yourself look it's stopping your flow it's stopping your growth it's stopping your progress the fool card it's like you know what i thought it was a good idea at the time but i have to kind of revisit this and retweak it if i can and that's okay look knight of swords knight of swords it feels like you might have to disappoint some people or disappoint some friends or some families i know i said i was going to do this i know i said i was going to go with you i know i said that this is what was going to happen but i have to say no i have to say no look seven of wands and the devil card either you're not ready or it's just not a match it's not a match and you don't necessarily need to explain that yeah it's work or commitment that you're not interested in anymore or that the more that you put effort and work into it, it just won't serve you. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's like the more she's trying to offer. She's trying to make an offer to this person and they're just like, meh, mm. you know, and I just either that's you or that's someone trying to get to you. And you're just like, oh, no, 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 no. Like, get out. No, no, no king of wands here i'm sorry king of cups reverse and the four of wands reverse so it feels like broken home or broken stability look hermit card this is for you though this is for you this is something that you're sensing this is something that you're vibing with it's an energy that you are picking up on and you have to take the time in order to unpack it this is your journey this is blah, this is your journey okay wow these cards wanted to jump out for you so we have the heart card I want you guys to know that the heart has electrical pulses that it always gives off um, and that it picks up on. And when something isn't right, the heart kind of sends a signal to the intuitive muscles and says, I don't like this or I love this. It doesn't make sense, but I feel the chemistry, I feel the spark. And whatever energy, whatever thing I'm picking up on, it's either a match or it ain't it. And in this Empress, I'm sorry, in this, why did I say Empress? In this, ooh, look, Two of Cups, hi, um, Hermit, and the Hangman stage that you were going to be inviting into your life, which is okay, it just gives you a little bit extra time. We also have the Tower card here, we have the Man, we have the Whip, we have the Cross, we have the Bouquet, and we have the Anchor. So someone, something wants you to kind of anchor, or you're wanting something to anchor in, but they are not committed or you don't need to be committed to it, it would actually be a little bit of a punishment in order to force yourself into this restricting role. And all you gotta do is say no. And I'm telling you, it's gonna open up a whole door, whole set of doors that are going to be better serving to you and your energy right now. And I would like to ask what that is. Look, just the fact that that's the sky blade, sky, just the fact that you can make that cut is freedom. Just the fact that you're able to do that is freedom. It cuts you free. It cuts you loose and frees up a whole. It doesn't feel authentic to you. Look, it feels like you're wearing a mask. Ew, we got the mice here. Look, I love mice. Don't get me wrong, but you want to explore your options. The snake, everyone hates the snake, but honestly, the snake is our desires. It's knowledge, forbidden fruit. What else is out there? Like what else is out there with the garden and the, the crossroads? You're about to find out. So go ahead and let me know, my loves. Please, 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 please let me know down in the comments. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. This is the energy of your week, but also make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos just like this one, including astrological predictions and intuitive predictions for each week that help give you better clarity and confirmation into the energy that you're dealing with in your own personal life. Until then, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.